guys, welcome back. I'm Sona if you're new to my channel and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial for hooded eyes and I'm gonna give you guys do's and don'ts. So I'm just gonna show you guys some tips and tricks. Obviously, I've got this side of my face which looks decent and this is what you wanna do if you've got hooded eyes, maybe a medium fold or even a heavy fold. And then of course, this side of my face which doesn't look that great today, but that's okay. Mm. This is exactly what you don't wanna do if you have a heavy fold or any fold. Before we get started with this video, I wanna mention that I have a giveaway for you guys and I'm giving away this entire makeup collection. I'm just really warming up for December which I'm super duper excited about. So I hope you guys enjoy the giveaway and good luck to everyone who is going to enter There is a link in the description box that you have to click on to officially enter even if you are subscribed to my channel You just have to click that button so that it just like automatically enters you. I'm gonna say that like 400 more times all right, so I've already got my base on and we're gonna move straight to the eyes since that's the focus of this video. So I'm gonna fill in my brows before I move on to the eyes because your brows can actually help elongate your eyes as well. So if you've got a hooded eye and then you go ahead and droop your eye, uh, eyebrows down, so if you fill them in and kind of drag it down, then you're drooping your entire eye. So it's really important to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you guys what not to do on this eye and then what to do on this one. I'm gonna be using the Ardell Eyebrow Palette and this has a really nice taupe color right over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that for both eyes. So what you don't wanna do is drag this end of the brow down, just like this. Go ahead and show you guys what to do to kind of elongate your eye with your brows. So I do like to start from the inner corners and kind of fill them in. And at this point, I'm just filling in the sparse areas. And I do like to make my brows just a little bit thicker, just using small strokes, kind of fill it in and make my arch really stand out right over here. So when you brush the hair upwards, you tend to see more sparse areas. So it's really important to do that and then go ahead and fill them in entirely. So what you wanna avoid when it comes to your crease are colors that have tons of shimmers. So for example, if you're going for say a brown color and you choose something that has a lot of shimmer like this one, you're just going to highlight the hooded area of your eye even more. So there's nothing wrong with you know playing with shimmer every now and then. This is just one technique that I really wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna grab another color that's similar to this but that has no shimmer at all. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on my crease. As you can see, I'm just applying this color and blending it at the same time. And starting from the outer corners, I'm concentrating this color just on my crease. I'm not taking it all the way to my eyelids. So you can see I'm just leaving that bare for more of a lighter color. When it comes to the inner corner, what I like to do is take this color up all the way to my brow bone just on the inner corners and very lightly, so it's not obvious that I have too much color there, but I feel like this also does help. Next, I'm gonna actually use shimmer on this eye, and I just wanted to show you guys how you can do that. So this is called Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this, but what I'm just gonna do is concentrate on the inner corners, and then grab a similar color that's all matte. Grab this light pink color, and I'll go ahead and apply that just on the crease. Then with a lighter color, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the brow bone very naturally, not too frosty. This is just an all matte highlighter. So what you don't wanna do is apply a dark color on the inner corners of your eyes. Unless you're trying to create something fun, you know, kind of like a runway inspired look, then of course, feel free to do that. So then I'm going to grab a highlight color that is super frosty. It's something that I use on the inner corners here. So I do want a little bit of a red undertone here too to kind of match this a brown script. So as you can see, I'm just packing this color on my crease again. I love warm undertone crease colors. It's just the perfect transitional color. So the key is to really blend, blend, blend. You wanna make sure that this is very, very natural with no harsh edges. So next, I'm gonna use Brune, and this is by MAC again. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just on the outer corners of this eye. It's really defining my crease. 
It will help if your blending brush is a little bit more tapered, which is what I've switched to. And this one is by Sigma, it's number E45. It's a really, really nice tapered brush. And the, you know, the tip is nice and pointy. So you can actually carve out your crease really gently. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing on this eye using tons of shimmer. And notice how I'm dragging this down. That's what you don't wanna do. So next I'm gonna use a pencil brush like this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same brown that we used here, Brune, on the bottom lash line. Everything needs to be very blended. So I'm just kind of creating a little bit of a reversed cat eye almost and taking this up so that it pulls my eye up. So what you don't wanna do is create a very harsh line on the bottom lash line. When it comes to your liner, what you don't wanna do is use a liquid liner and create a very thick cat eye. So I'm gonna show you what not to do. I'm gonna just use a regular black pencil. This one is by Urban Decay. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first on the inner rim of my eye and then take it to the top lash line. This alone, I think, makes such a big difference. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this liner on my top lash line. And again, I like to just create really small strokes. So then I like to grab a straight brush and really blend this liner so that it kind of looks like it's blending in with the shadow. And on the outer corners, I do like to just slightly extend it. So I'm just using a black eyeshadow on the inner corner so that it looks really, really natural. I personally like to use either a brown liner or maybe like a gold uh, sort of bronzy color. This one is actually a really pretty bronze color by Lorac. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the inner rim of my eye, but just keep it on the inner corners. So then I'm gonna do the total opposite on the other side. I'm just gonna use the black pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over on the inner rim. Such a big difference. And some last minute touches. I'm just gonna pack on a little bit of a light color on the lid. So we're gonna go ahead and curl the lashes and apply some mascara. I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Mascara also really helps open up the eye. So I would not skip this step. And also it's really important to go in from the root and kind of wiggle the brush up. I do like to apply mascara on my bottom lashes as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit. So when it comes to lashes, if you wanna apply lashes, you totally can. What you wanna remember is the shape of the lashes matters. So if you go with something really, really long, it's just not gonna look good. So if you go with something like this, it's just gonna cover everything that you just worked for. So that's why I think it's really important to use things that are a little bit shorter, like these. Something that has more of that, you know, cat eye feel, where it kind of extends towards the outer corners. I think these look really nice as well. For this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use these lashes, and they're number 217, and they go from short to long. So they're really gonna help elongate my eyes. So I feel like when I have my lashes on, I do like to go back in one more time with that dark brown color and make sure that I'm really defining my crease and kind of pack this color a little bit more and blend it up. See, I just feel like the difference is so big. I mean, it's just like this eye just looks like I've got a nice crease going on. I've got a nice lid space. Everything is just nice and defined. So you obviously can extend this liner just a little bit because I feel like it does help kind of pull the eye. So lastly on the eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara just on the root so that it kind of lifts my eye a little more. So I'm not going to apply this on the tip at all, just on the, on the root. For this, I'm going to apply it kind of the opposite on the tips of the lashes. It's like spiders on my eyes. <laughs> to finish off the look, I'm just gonna apply something on my lips and I'm gonna go in with this NARS lip color and this one is called Besame Mucho. So you 
can top it off with a gloss if you'd like. This one is by Makeup Forever and it's called Artist Pixie Gloss. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a really different and fun video for me to do. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can click subscribe right over there. And then of course, if you missed my last week's tutorial, it'll be right down here for you guys to click on. If you want to connect with me, I would love that. All of my social handles are right over there. I will see you guys very soon. I love you. Bye.